Hey y'all, what's going on? Welcome back to our at-home body weight program. Today is day five. It's Natalie here. Christian. And we're super excited to have you guys join us for today's workout. Now, what you can look forward to is our skill work of the day. We'll be working on some closeouts and our workout for today will be a lower body endurance training workout. Yep. Hope you guys are ready. Let's get started. Cool. Remember, one of the most important parts of our workout is our warm up, priming our body so that we can optimize our workout. So I'll have Christian move through some of these moves while I explain. Move number one is our global hip circle. So you can see Christian is keeping a little bend in his knees. He's pushing his hips out and around. We're, again, we're trying to go like as big as we can here with these hip circles. Let's go two more times in this direction. Now, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear Christian breathing. Remember, that's a key part of this warm up. Now we've reversed the direction. We're going for five reps here. Again, reaching those hips out and around, getting that stretch through the back side of the legs, front side of the hips. Excellent job, y'all. Way to breathe, way to move. Beautiful, shake that off. Number two is going to be a standing cat cow. So you can see from the side here, what we want to do is pull our chest forward, proud chest, and then round out our upper back. Find some space here between those shoulder blades. Let's move forwards and back from that cat to that cow position. Maybe a nice inhale on the way forward, exhale on the way back. And you can use those arms. Get those arms moving as much as you can on these. Excellent work. Let's go one more standing cat cow before we shake that off. Excellent job. Now this next one's a little tricky. We're gonna show you some different ways you can do this. It is our standing hip circle. So for number one, Christian's going to just use the desk for some assistance. If you need help with your balance, feel free. We'll take our leg out in front on this one. Stay tall. As we bring the foot to the side, we rotate that toe down and then leg behind us. Beautiful. Let's do that again. We lift, trying to keep that leg locked out. Kick, 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 kick through the heel. Beautiful. That's two right there. Let's reverse it. Okay. We'll come back. We'll lift all the way to the side. Try to stay tall, try to breathe. Excellent job. One more time. Good work, good work. Now, we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. If you have someone next to you, feel free to hold on to them. Woo, right here. Let's try it. We'll take our foot up, out, and behind. Just supporting one another. Excellent job. One more. We'll come up, out, rotate, kick. And then I'm going to challenge Christian to try to get these last two on his own. Challenge that balance. We'll go reverse. Lift back, kick, kick, kick out to the side, rotating from that hip. Nice job. You can see this hand is helping with his balance, a little counterbalance here. Stay tall and breathe. Last one there. Feeling in the hips a little bit? Oh, yeah, big time. Big Excellent time. job. We've got shoulder circles next. So find a little bit of space where you can take your hands overhead. There we go. Now overhead here, I want you guys to get a soft bend in the knees and I want you to keep your belly nice and tight, right? Squeeze your booty nice and tight. We're gonna go small circles. We're gonna go about 10 circles in one direction. Just stay moving with us here. Try to keep your eyes up. Continue to use that breath. Don't let those hands drop. Let's reverse it, other way. Good, keep reaching up towards the ceiling. Keep breathing. Let's get those shoulders a little bit more warm. Let's go for another five, four, three, two, one. Excellent job, shake that off, beautiful. Next up is our hinge with a reach. So we'll get these shoulders a little more warm on this one. Soft bend in the knees, we'll push our hips back, we'll reach those thumbs up towards the ceiling, good job. Stand tall, proud chest, good. Again, as we reach our hips back here, we're getting that stretch on the back side of the legs. And you can see Christian is doing an excellent job of keeping his spine nice and long. Again, think lead with the heart, proud chest. Keep going. Let's go three more reps here. Can you hear that breathing? Try to match your breath to your movement. Beautiful. A couple more. Really pushing those feet down through the floor here. Excellent job. Shake that off. Beautiful. Now, next up, we are going to do some partner drills. If you don't have a partner today, that's okay. Just follow along with one of us. You'll do all of the exercises, no matter what. If you have a partner, great, okay? Here's how it's going to work. One of us is going to use a basketball. Again, if you don't have a basketball, just use your imagination. You can do all these drills without the basketball as well. If you have one, go ahead and grab it though. We'll come onto the ground. So we're gonna do some crunches here. Now, if you have the basketball and you're following me, what we have is a crunch as we bring the ball through our leg. We'll come back, 
and we'll go through the opposite leg, okay? If you're following Christian, as I'm getting my reps here, he's going to be holding a bridge. So pushing those feet down, keeping his shoulders and head on the ground. You're gonna hold it for as long as I'm working. Ready? Three, two, one, here we go. Now, if you're doing the crunches, we have 10 reps. That's two, three, moving nice and slow and controlled. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Good job. Dad. Beautiful, here you go. Now, we switch it up. Again, Christian has 10 crunches. If you're following him, if you're following me, we're in our bridge. Hips are up. We're squeezing, staying nice and tight. Four, five, six, seven, eight, almost there, guys, nine, last one, ten. Woo. Awesome Excellent work. Good job. Man. Now, before I was going in between my legs right here, this time I'm going to reverse the direction while Christian goes into a reverse plank. So now I'm going on the outside here. Come out. One. Two, three, four, five, six, hold on to it, seven, eight, nine. Great job. Ten. Ooh. There we go. Awesome work, y'all. And again, guys, just like Nat said, I was going under. Now I'm going to reverse that direction. Ten. All right. Three, two, one, and let's go. That's one, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Almost there, Nat. Nine. Almost there, guys. Ten. Woo. Nice job. Good job. Awesome work. Woo. All right. Now, this one's a partner drill. Working on our sit-ups here, we'll go toe-to-toe. -to -toe, okay? And if not, let's just say that they don't have somebody at home that they're doing this drill with, they can always just come up and go by themselves, correct? Yeah, of course. You can go by yourself. That works as well. You can use the ball. You cannot use the ball. If you have two people and you don't have a ball, when you come up to the middle, you can high five and tap hands. Okay? If you have a ball, we'll be passing the ball back and forth for these reps. We're going for 10 each, 20 total here. Okay? So we'll come all the way back. Ball comes over the head. We sit up and pass. That's one. That's one. That's two for me. And this is two for me. Nice job. Three. Three. This is three for me. Four. And this is four for me. Five. Five. Great job, man. There we That's go. Five for me. Halfway through, guys. Six. Six, Six. Six here. Seven. Seven for me. Eight. This is eight for me. Almost done. Nine. nine. This is nine for me. Last one, guys. Good job. And last one for me. Awesome work. Good job. Great Good job. job Let's stand on that. Shake that off. You can set your ball to the side. We are going to finish out our warm up here with our high knees, our butt kicks, and our Frankenstein kicks. So. Starting with high knees, we'll get our feet moving, we'll move our arms, let's move, let's move together. We're going for 30 seconds. There we go. Again, fast feet, can you keep your eyes up? Can we breathe? That breath is key. About 10 more seconds. Nice job, y'all, stay with us. Five, four, three, two, one, right here. Butt kicks, ready, go, go. In 30 seconds, we're moving. Getting things ready for the skill work, getting us ready for the workout. Hold each other accountable. Let's go for all 30 seconds here. Great job, 10 more seconds. Nice job, Christian, come on. Good job, Matt, keep it up at home, guys. Almost there, y'all. Nicely done, last five, four, three, two, one, and we're right here, Frankenstein kicks. Ooh. Legs are staying straight, <laughs> reaching opposite hand to toe. There we go. Good work, good work, last 15 seconds. Last 10, let's get a couple more reps. Almost there, y'all, last five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. All right. 
Good job, bro. Good job, man. Awesome work back at home, guys. So now if you have your parent or if you have a partner with you that you're going to be doing this drill with or doing this workout with, okay, this is a perfect time where myself and Nat can get, you know, uh, in included with one another. Now, if you don't have anybody at home that you're doing this with, no worries. Instead of you closing out to someone here today, you can just put some object on the ground. So if you have a ball, you can put the ball on the ground. You can use that as your, your practice offender. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool with that one. So the skill of the day is going to be building our closeout, something that we usually do in the game of basketball. And again, parents, if you might think to yourself, I don't play basketball a lot. I just kind of go out with my kid and help them out every now and then. This is huge. Usually where we get hurt in the game of basketball is decelerating. And that is why we spend so much time in just breaking down our form to make sure that when we go out on the court, the, uh, the uh, likeness, likeness of us getting hurt mm -hmm. diminishes and comes on down. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to have Nat take the ball, and she's going to go ahead and set over there in the corner. Okay, and what I'm going to do here just for the first rep, I just want to break down the form, and then we'll go full speed, okay? So I'm going to start here in this position with my knee forward and my hip back. That's going to get me in this ready position. I'm going to go slow first to show you the form, and then we'll pick up the speed. So as I come forward to close out, I'm going to take one to two hard steps, and then I'm going to go inside foot down, outside foot down with both my toes facing the side wall and my chest leaning back. You can see my foot is in front of me and I'm never here. My chest is never right on top of my knee and my foot because if Natalie tries to go this way, my body is not in a good direction to help me push off. So you're going to see when I come in, not only am I shifting my feet to the side, but my chest is leaning in the direction that I'm going to shuffle to, okay? So I'm going to go at full speed now. Sound good? You can just kind of hold the ball there, Nat. I'm going to get myself ready. I'm going to go right, left. And again, leaning so that when Natalie wants to dribble, I can push off in that direction. I'll go four more times on the same side, okay? Four more times to my right, left. Perfect. That was two. We'll go three more times here. Nice. We'll go two more times here on the same side. Perfect. And then one more time again. All about finding our angles and where we're trying to put our joints in our body. Awesome. So now Nat is going to go ahead and go. Same thing. She's going to go right, left. When we say right, left, that means your right foot comes down first, then your left foot. Okay. Go ahead, Nat. Awesome. Great job, Nat. That was one. Perfect. That's two. We'll go three more here. Great job, Nat. Again, check out her feet, guys. Go ahead. Perfect. Body's leaning back, so she's ready if I, just in case I dribble. Awesome work, Nat. One more. One more time here. Here we go. And go ahead. Perfect. Great job. So that was right to left. Now we're going to go left, right. Okay? So now I'm going to come in, forcing her in the opposite direction. Now my left leg contacts first here. Now again, come in, left, right. Sound good? That was one. We'll go four more times here. We'll go three more. Nice. Two more times. Staying low. Again, making sure that my feet are contacting inside foot first, then my outside as I lean. Perfect. Good job. Now we'll let you go now. Again, five on each side right here, everybody. Left, yeah, left right, uh-huh. Left, right, all right. Perfect, great job, just like that. Four more times. Perfect, there you go. Come in three more times. Nice, Nat, two more times, y'all. Great job at home, keep this up right here. Remember, focus on your position and your angles, good work. When you stop, you should be able to feel like you're pushing and leaning back, not forward towards the, towards the offender. Go ahead. Perfect. Great job. Awesome job, Matt. Awesome work back at home. Hopefully, you guys are feeling extra warm after the warm-up and the skill of the day. Okay? Now, we're going to get into our workout. Now, before we start our workout here, I just want to explain the three different levels. Rookie, All-Star, and VP. It's the same level you've been using for this whole program so far. Okay? Now, in about in 12 minutes of activity, 12 minutes of this workout, okay, your goal 
is to try to get as many rounds done as quick as you can. If you get between five and six rounds done, you're at the rookie level. Still some area to improve, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, if you're getting done with about seven or eight rounds, then you're at the all-star level. Anything above nine rounds is at an MVP level. Yeah, that's awesome, okay? Now, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna start the timer for 12 minutes, and again, we're just gonna try to get through as many rounds as possible. For the first round, I'm gonna show you level one, and Natalie will show you level two. Level one is just a little bit easier, okay? Just because you do level one for the first round doesn't mean you have to be at level one the whole time. Sound good right there? Mm -hmm. Okay, the first thing we have is our reverse to forward lunge. We're gonna have five reps on each side, level two and level one. Let me get my timer ready here. In three, two, one, and you're gonna see, we step back and then Natalie's gonna step forward. I'm gonna take this middle step before I go forward. And again, Natalie's still moving at her own pace. I'm just gonna show you what level one would look like, okay? Again, reverse, use the middle, then forward, use the middle. Reverse, use the middle, go forward, then back to the middle. That's one rep right there. We're gonna get five times on each side. Natalie here is gonna be working at her own pace. She's not stepping through the middle. So now she's challenging her balance and her stability a little bit more, okay? Again, every time you go back and forward, that's one rep. We're gonna do five times on each side, everybody. Then the second thing that we're gonna do here, okay, is we're gonna go onto the ground, we're gonna do our shin box switches. Now, Natalie is gonna switch without using her hands. That's level two. Me, I'm gonna use my hands on the ground here the whole time. Regardless of which one you guys are doing, you guys are gonna get five reps on each side. This is one, this is one. Again, this is two, this is two. We'll get five times on each side, everybody. And again, don't worry if you're level one or level two, okay? This is why we have the program to get better. Now the third movement, we're gonna get 10 reps here, okay? We're gonna go bear squats. And me and Natalie are gonna do the same level, okay? We're gonna go butt back to our heels, arms are gonna lock out, we'll go hips up, and then hips down, that's one. Hips up, hips down, that's two, up, down, three, up, down, four, up, down for five, up, down for six, up, down for seven, up, down for eight, up, down for nine, one more, up, and 10. Perfect, guys, and then we're gonna go right through it. Remember, I'm doing level one, Nat's doing level two. Reverse. Forward, reverse, forward. Remember, that's one full rep. When we go back and then forward, that's one full. We're gonna go five times on each side. I'm just gonna use the middle to find my balance. Natalie is not using the middle, okay? Reverse, forward, nice job. reverse, nice job. forward, reverse, forward. Again, five reps on each side here. Nat might get through her reps a little bit quicker, but that's okay because she's doing level two. She's not taking this middle step, and that's okay. You guys find your level and try to work as quick as you guys can, okay? From round to round, rep to rep, and movement to movement. Awesome work. Now, if you're like me and you're like, okay, round one is challenging, but I think I could push myself a little bit more. I think I can do things at round or level two. Perfect. After this round, I'm gonna go ahead and challenge myself and try to keep up with Natalie, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whoa. Great job, Matt. Keep on nice going, bro. And again, you guys are working at your own pace. Right when we finish up a movement, we go right to the next one. Again, now I'm challenging, challenging myself at a level two pace now. I'm not taking this middle step anymore. And again, that's okay if you still need it. That's why we're here, to get better every single day, okay? Good job, Nat. 
Great job back at home, guys. You guys keep on breathing. We're about four minutes down already. We got about eight minutes to go. Perfect. And again, if you're uh, trying to keep up with the three different levels, rookie, all-star, MVP. Rookie, you're gonna get about five to six rounds done, okay? If you're an all-star, seven to eight. If you're an MVP, you have nine rounds or more, okay? So push, your, uh, push yourself. The challenge is trying to move quickly, not only in your reps, but trying to move from movement to movement as quick as you can. Go, here we go guys. One, two, three, four, five. Legs are burning. Six. Oh yeah. Now are you on round four right now? I believe so. Nice. Great job. Good work, everybody. If you're keeping up with Nat, you're already at round four. So good job. Keep on moving here. Nice job. Good work, you guys. Keep it up. Some work, y'all. Woo! Legs are burning. You might need to take a rest. That's okay. If you need water, grab some water. If you need to shake it out, shake it out. Heck, if you want to pause the video, pause the video, okay? Give yourself the ability to be successful every single day, okay? And being successful doesn't mean trying to complete the reps the fastest in the room. It means working at your potential. Working where something is uncomfortable, where it's challenging, that's where we see this growth. Awesome work, Nat. My hips are starting to open up big time. How about you, Nat? Definitely. Definitely. This is one that we do want to kind of go a little slower. You can still move through it yeah. at a decent pace, but challenge yourself to really push your bottom and your mm -hmm. heels into the ground there. <laughs> and when you guys are doing this drill, you might feel, ah, one side's a little bit tighter, that's okay. If you need to use your hands on that side, then use your hands, okay? Don't worry, this is one of our favorite movements. So we're gonna do this movement a lot during this program. So you guys just keep it up and keep giving your best effort, okay? Great job, Matt. You too, keep it up. Two. Getting nice and warm Three. here. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Great job, y'all. And again, we cannot emphasize this enough, everybody. You guys are working at your pace. You'll see, I'm taking a rest. I'm taking a break whenever I need it, okay? Natalie is trying to work at what's something that is challenging to her, okay? She's been doing this for a while. So don't get caught up on trying to keep up with us. You guys find your pace, okay? And then, if you're doing it with a partner, hold each other accountable, okay? <laughs> Okay, if you guys need some water, grab some water, catch your breath. You'll hear us breathe through this whole thing, though. That's super important. Guys, we got about four more minutes left. About four more minutes. Continue to breathe. Continue to move. It's all about intention, right? Mm-hmm. That's it right there. Great job, everybody. And if, you know what? I want to make my lunges a little bit more challenging. I might pull my leg up and then hold. Pull it up and then hold. Just a different way to make that a little bit more challenging, okay? Great job, Nat. I'm going to go back down to level one. I'm going to use my hands to help me switch from side to side. I'm feeling a little extra tight today, so that's okay. I meet my body where it's at. I don't force my body into pain, okay? Awesome job, y'all. Good work, Natalie. Thank Round you. six for you, Thank huh, you. girl? Great yes. job. Almost awesome there. work. That's the great part, guys, about having a partner, partner to work out with, is that they're going to keep you accountable. Natalie's making me work. If I was doing it by myself, I might take a little bit longer. But I got someone to help push me, okay? One, two, three, two. Great job, y'all. Continue to breathe. Whoa. Regardless of what level you're at, you gotta keep breathing. Nice job, nice job. Whew. Keep it up, y'all. Awesome work, go. everybody. We got about three minutes left, y'all. About three minutes left. Ooh. We're 
each just doing the best we can today. That's all we can ask for. Keeping that quality there, making sure we're getting all of our reps. And just challenging ourselves. Where are we at today? How can we get a little better today? Great job, everybody. Awesome work. Less than three minutes left, y'all. Less than three minutes. We got this, guys. We've been working super hard. Don't let your body stop now, okay? Of course, unless you need a break. Using my hands. Two. Two. Great job, Nat. Three. Three. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I got one more left. Here. Five. And five. Perfect. Keep it up. Whew. Guys, two minute warning here. Two minute warning. Keep it on up. Solid, solid. Awesome job, everybody. 90 seconds, guys. 90 seconds left. Whew. Check that off here a little bit. Whew. Good job, Nat. Keep it up, y'all. We're almost done. Finish it up. Woo wee! My quads are burning. My goodness. Uh, right there with you. Woo. This one especially. Woo. These bear spots. Awesome job, everybody. We are at the last minute. The last minute of work here. If you feel comfortable, try to push your pace now a little bit more. Let's see how many rounds we can get done with here. Remember, my rookies, five to six, okay? My all-stars, seven to eight. My MVPs, anything above nine, you guys are killing me. Do you know what round you're at right now, Nat? Eight, eight or nine? Eight or nine. Great eight job. Eight. Awesome work. Great job. That's all right. Whew. I do a little better when I write things down. Yep, I agree. <laughs> I agree. But Guys, 15 seconds. I'm going to stay moving seconds. regardless. <sighs> Guys, almost there. Last five, four, all the way through. Three, two, one. Woo. Good job. Nice awesome work, work Nat. Awesome job back at home. Hopefully you guys are feeling like we got a good workout in here today. Remember, before we finish up, Nat's going to take us through a little stretching to help decompress and finish us off for the day. Right? Thank good you job, so much. Guys. Excellent job. All right, y'all. Remember, decompression is about bringing the heart rate down, stretching out our muscles so that we don't get too tight, too sore for tomorrow. Right? So if you need to hold on to something, hold on for balance, let's grab our foot right here. I know my quads are feeling tight, so I want to stretch out this front part of my leg by driving my knee down to the ground, staying tall, squeezing my glutes. Let's breathe here. Three inhales, three exhales. That's one, two, last one. Awesome job. Now, I'll just come over here, try to balance on this next one. Again, can I stay tall? Drive that knee down. Inhale. Exhale. Two more times. Last one. Excellent job. Just shake that off. Now, hip circles. Let's just go one big hip circle in each direction. We did these at the beginning. We'll go one more big hip circle. If these feels good to you, by all means, do a couple extra whenever we're done here. You guys can stretch as much as you need to once we're done. I just, again, want you to shake out your legs. Let's take one more slow inhale, slow exhale. Before we come to a close today. Now, before you guys log off here, I just want to remind you about our book of the month, Mind Gym. 
Hope you guys are checking it out. Hope you guys are reading about it. Okay, excellent book. Has lots of great tips from some of the world's top performers in there. How you can strengthen your mind while you're strengthening your body. Okay, the journal prompt for today is all about failure. So I want you to think about how you view the word failure or when you come up to a challenge in your life, right? These challenges are obstacles and oftentimes we can learn something from them. So I want you to share with someone, friends, family, or just on your own here about how you view failure and maybe something positive that you can think of that comes from overcoming that failure or moving past it. Excellent job today, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.